If you don't believe in miracles, you will after you hear this next story. Now, it could have easily had a very tragic ending for a family. Our Nikila Pradier live at Padre Island this afternoon. And Nikila, I understand this is all about the right person being in the right place at the right time. Lee, it all began as a day of family fun on this beach just north of Bob Hall Pier. But for one seven year old boy, things suddenly went horribly wrong. David Ochoa is a man of many talents. He's a missionary in Africa. He works as a chaplain for a fire department in Colorado, and he just happened to be here on vacation. Suddenly, he heard his son scream. They said, Dad, Dad, and I turned around. What he saw was a little boy washing ashore, not breathing. Ochoa is trained in CPR, so he knew exactly what to do. And I saw this little boy, and I grabbed him immediately and I put him on the shore and I just started CPR on him. People were screaming all around and at times things did not look well for the little boy. And I just kept on, kept on his, his lips were blue and his belly was bloated, but I didn't, I didn't quit. All thanks to God, he's going to be okay. For that little boy, David Ochoa, chaplain and missionary, was nothing short of heaven sent. Yeah, he started uh, throwing up water and throwing up and so he started to breathe on his own. So. It was a blessing. A family got their little boy back, and Ochoa got the best reward of all. He made that reunion possible. Everybody was grateful and thankful, and oh, big hugs. And paramedics took that boy along with his family to a local hospital to make sure that he was okay. Lee. All right, thank you very much, Nikila. And a big thumbs up to David Ochoa for being in the right place at the right time. He also told us that his CPR skills were learned in the military, and he's kept them up to date through his work with the Colorado Fire Department that he works for. And he says if you're going to live along the coast, you need to take the time to learn CPR.